cricketing fortunes of a country invariably hinges on the cricketing fortunes of its stars, the biggest faces who somehow determine the path their country takes in the sport. For Bangladesh, that's Shakib Al Hassan, a very problematic yet influential leader who finds himself at the crossroads. In fact, a lot of the political developments that's going on in the country has really impacted not just the cricket, but also the relationship that Bangladesh shares with India. Two big events happened over the, last, over the course of the last 24 hours that have thrown Bangladesh cricket into sharp focus and in very troubled waters. One, of course, is Shakib Al Hassan announcing his retirement and thus making a plea to play a last match on his home soil. The other is fans between the two sides clashing on the day of the second test in the Indian city of Kanpur at the stadium. Now, both these occurrences are linked to the turmoil that Bangladesh find themselves in. Let's talk about the latest. Bangladesh super fan Tiger Robbie was allegedly attacked by Indian cricket supporters at the start of the test at the Green Park Stadium. The Bangladeshi super fan, in fact, claims that he tried to get away from the crowd post that. Cops found out, found him out of breath, stumbling out of Block C of Green Park Stadium. The fan also said that the Indian crowd gathered in the section he was seated in were extremely hostile towards him and had been constantly hurling abuses at the Bangladeshi supporter. A cop told me not to stand at the block. I was there only because I was scared. They were hurling abuses since morning. I've watched enough Bollywood movies to understand the abuses. But here's the kicker. Just some hours later, the very same fan made a complete U-turn saying there was no attack. There was no hostility shown towards him, but that he was dehydrated and had to get out of the stadium. The story doesn't add up because the test match is underway in very trying circumstances. Security had in fact been beefed up at the stadium after the association received multiple threats from certain groups to disrupt the test match. There has been a lot of hate towards Bangladesh supporters and the cricket team in particular. Tension back home in Bangladesh has affected proceedings in India, impacting the cricket and the very passionate fans in the country. But I guess this acrimonious attitude is being mirrored by a section of Bangladeshis back home too, directed towards their own Shakib Al Hassan, which brings me to point number two. Shakib's dream of finishing his career by playing one of his last matches at home seems to hang by the balance. At the pre-match press conference at the Green Park before taking on India, Shakib stated his desire to finish his career with at least one game in front of his home crowd. If there is an opportunity for me to go back to the country, Mirpur Test will be my last in Test cricket. If that won't happen, the match against India in Kanpur would be my last in Test cricket. These things have been communicated with the board and they are trying to make the best arrangement so that I can play and feel secure. Yes, there's a series against South Africa that Bangladesh is set to play later this year and Shakib is hoping that he can make it there with no complications. What are the complications and why is this a very strained request? Request A reminder of what's transpired with regards to Shakib Al Hassan over the weeks post the unrest in Bangladesh. Shakib was slapped with a murder charge along with many other prominent political figures including former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina for whose party Shakib even won a seat in the elections earlier this year. And that has obviously made his entry into his own country a rather difficult passage. Shakib says he hopes there is enough security in place for him to at least be able to finish his career the way he would want to. It's one of the things any athlete always dreams of, playing in front of his or her own home crowd before they end it all. They design retirements around this. Anyone who has had a career as long, elaborate and a tad troubled as Shakib's deserves that. I cannot help but look at the irony in the situation. A cricketer with a very colourful past that involved getting into fights with opposite team players and captains, umpires and even fans is getting to have possibly a colourful and rather eventful finish too. Picture this. The Test Series against South Africa is scheduled to take place in October this year, as of now. Of course, this is subject to everything else falling into place in Bangladesh's 
political landscape, but assuming it does, police personnel outnumbering all cricketers at the stadium just to ensure that Shakib Al Hassan can get the perfect farewell, his moment under the sun. Protests raging on outside even as many oppose this move. Another section, the fans gathered at the stadium to witness all contributing to a significant image of Shakib Al Hassan making his exit. One of Bangladesh's very best leaving the sport just as stormily as he announced himself on the global stage. A sight to see.